like to take this opportunity to thank Vice President, <coughs> Vice President Biden and uh, Mayor Bloomberg for all their efforts and support um, to Newtown and try to make a change. On December 14th, I, it was the last day I saw my son alive. And uh, I don't wish this upon anybody, what I had to go through or any of the other victims. Families had to go through. Uh, I I ask everybody to just stand up and and speak out and Congress to step up and make a change. There needs to be a ban on assault weapons and weapons of war, and high capacity magazines. Those weapons have no purpose or no use on the streets or in our schools. My son Jesse's life was taken by a cowardly, deranged person with an assault weapon. Um, and, and no child deserves to be murdered or brutally slaughtered the way these children were. And uh, I, quite honestly, I'm, I'm really ashamed to see that Congress doesn't have the guts to stand up and make a change. and. and put a ban on these type of weapons and universal background checks and address the mental health issues that we have in this country. And I never thought my son would be a victim. I never thought something like this could ever happen in Sandy Hook, Connecticut. But it did. And it could happen to any one of your children or grandchildren in your hometown or your neighborhood. I ask for everybody's support to help make a change. And I ask that Congress makes a change and to help prevent this from ever happening again. These were innocent little babies. And they had no instinct of survival or self-defense. And Adam Lanza went into that school knowing that that day. He knew that he could. They were the least resistant. They had no means of defending themselves, and they carried out a merciless, cowardless act. And I just wish it, I wish it never upon anybody what I have to go through or these other families have had to go through. Thank you very much.